The number one question that everybody has is, is it finally over? Is this dip, this drop in terms of price finally over for ADA and for the rest of the crypto market? Well, I have to say this, we got some fantastic news for the uh, crypto market yesterday. It's a very big deal. And there are some, I think, much bigger and broader implications when it comes to ADA from this news. Now, as always, this is not financial advice, but I do want to break this down for you guys. So obviously, ADA has been on the slide here for quite some time. We got pushed down along with the rest of the crypto market. And frankly, we were getting push, pushed down for no reason. There was nothing to indicate that we were just going to drop here. BTC and the, the broader crypto market showed a little weakness and we kind of, it seems like have fallen into a bear trap, right? A lot of people got washed out of their positions. There was huge opportunities actually for ADA along the way here. I didn't even realize it got down into the high 35s, which was very surprising. But we bounced all the way back up to the mid uh, 38 cent range. We're printing a green candle today. That's looking great. And really what's helping us is this huge news from the SEC. Now I talked about this in my SHIB video earlier. Basically, the SEC is dropping its investigation into Ethereum, kind of essentially giving us a green light for Ethereum spot ETFs, which means that very soon we're going to have this trading from institutional money when it comes to Ethereum spot ETFs. But there is even, I think, a bigger implication that may come from this. It's a question of why did they, in fact, drop their investigation? Is it because we are green, light, green lighting Ethereum spot ETFs or is it because they're taking a step back on the crypto industry as a whole? That's the big question. If this is the path, if they are stepping back from, from crypto, not as a whole, but in a, uh, if they're taking more of a back seat in this regard, that's actually a huge thing for ADA. Remember, ADA was alleged as an unregistered security, uh, what, way back in June of last year. So it's been almost a year since that happened and has been mentioned here and there by the SEC, but for the most part, it's kind of been like a fart in the wind. It's gone, right? But there's still kind of that lingering feeling in the back of people's minds. You know, is there some sort of enforcement action that's going to be coming from the SEC in this regard towards ADA? Now, here's the thing people don't remember, but Ethereum did actually have an ICO. Now, ADA's, uh, ADA's ICO, we'll do ICO, right? Very, very different. It wasn't the same scope of that. It wasn't done here in the US or anything like that either. So it's they're, they're not even the same thing anyways. But I think that this step back by the SEC removes a lot of that that looming black cloud over the top of ADA and over the top, frankly, of a lot of the rest of the industry. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if there is some implication uh, from, or not implication, if there is some effect from this on the Ripple v. SEC case. I think that's a much bigger and broader question. And if FIT21 does, in fact, pass through the, the Senate and get signed into law, we may be looking at crypto in a very different light in general. That opens up the door for retail, it provides a lot of a lot more positivity in the market. The SEC basically not goes away completely, but the CFTC, who's more pro crypto, steps in, and this is where you start to see the this embrace. I think of assets that have been alleged as securities by the SEC. Something like ADA has a lot more opportunity to flourish. Then that's that's kind of the big deal. I wanted to hit home on this. So yes, this this news about the SEC taking a step back in this Ethereum run, uh, run here, I guess is a very big deal for ADA. We'll have to wait and see how big of an impact it's going to have. We're gonna have to wait and see how much uh, ADA does in fact bounce back here. We've gotten a green candle on this news. We blew out of those ranges. And it's possible now that we may see a, a good back half of the week. We have to temper our expectations and wait and see what happens. But if institutional money starts picking up buying again because of this excitement, because of this, I think, further clarity when it comes to uh, Ethereum spot ETFs, it's it's going to create this this surge of of positivity in the market again. Sentiment's been kind of frankly dog shit. That's the reason why alts have slid, even though you know Ethereum and BTC have held fairly strong. Don't be surprised if we end up seeing a bounce back. This may have been that bear trap, that that washout that we were talking about, you know, possibly happening. And unfortunately, people have been falling for it left and right. So. I appreciate you guys as always. I hope you enjoyed the video. Would love to hear your thoughts on this, but have a great day. Show your love below. Catch you guys in the next one. Take care.